you had to go through that sort of resurrective energy of just crashing and burning and having to pick yourself back up again and that's why you're able to have the job that you're about to be offered have the relationship that you're about to be offered it's like you had to go through the fire to temper you to become what you needed to become to actually be able to handle what this is so you're ready for your blessing now Pisces, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, and this is where it begins. This is a timeless message. Embrace the in-between. So this is a transitional period for you, and it's going to take... Um, um, it's going to take almost a master, a mastery of balance. Uh, it's suggesting that there could be some need to be economic and um, malleable right now. But there is also a way to embrace this and almost have fun with it. So we're going to understand a little bit more about whatever transition is either going to come up or you're, you're actually engaged in right now for some reason it's front and center in your in your energy so we've got to talk about it um this message comes to you because you called it to you it's your message it that's just the way they work it's for pisces sun moon and rising sign there is a new message however every single week my friends and so please do subscribe to the channel and then ring that notification bell so that you know when i upload your favorite content pisces if you're looking for personal readings, I do those as well. Just go to my website and check out the services I offer. I offer quite a few. Um, it's going to help you choose the one that's right for you. And then you can sign up. Yeah. So let's see what other cards come out. Embrace. There you go. Embrace the in-between. Flamingo. It's also beautiful. And that's why it's interesting that they chose that bird. It's it's interesting because it is such a beautiful bird and it's such a playful energy. So it's like, this isn't a bad time, Pisces. There's just something that you're moving in between right now and it can be beautiful too. Let's cleanse the energy. This is so interesting. Pisces, be here now is your second card. Now, this is a card that says this is the important moment in your life. This is where your mind has to be. Pay attention, my friends, to this situation in front of you. It is beautiful. There is something so gorgeous that you might miss if you are not current with your attention. It's easy for water signs to get lost in their daydreams of the past. We don't even remember the past accurately. It's, it's the fantasy version of our past. But this is saying there's something so special and beautiful. Could be romantic. This is Libra energy. So it's very sensual and beautiful. And look, at it's almost like there's something in passing. It might not last long, but it's going to be special. And so let it happen. It's not about the longevity. It's about the intensity. It's quality over quantity. So it's not about lasting forever. It's about 
making an impression when you show up and being where you are so completely, so fully, whoever you're with right now, whatever job you're doing, by doing it, so, by just radiating such joy and being there, showing up, this, it's like you can't, you can't get ignored, embrace the in-between as flamenco, the, the, the feathers are just too bold and beautiful, they're, they're not, they're not designed to not get attention. So something is happening that, that God is admitting, yes, this is temporary, but there's something so beautiful in this temporary. You don't want to miss this. Be here now. Something special is coming to you. We got to find out what that is. Take a leap of faith is here, which means go ahead and do it. Like that's the message um grasshopper is often good luck you have the number of three thirty uh three plus zero is three so three which is the holy trinity divine balance it's almost like the synchronicity it's it's like the cards are saying to you the synchronicity of this moment is so perfect that it's it it doesn't matter where it goes or where it came from what matters is that you be in it right now. Have faith in this because it's this is a beautiful moment. Embrace this. You know, it, it, it's irrelevant of where it goes and whatever. It doesn't matter. What matters is right here, right now. Take a leap of faith, believe in it, or something is going to show up and inspire you so much that the imbalance doesn't feel uncomfortable as much as it feels exciting and then we have this card in the future which is truth transcends illusion the reality will come to it the reality will come you you'll see it's like it's you're not going to get stuck here um this is also this sense of if you if you do this now then who you truly are or the, the, the truth of the situation will come out later in its full form. This is a stage you have to go through. You couldn't get a dragonfly without the larva stage. This is like the larva stage. Trust this because there's something so beautiful in it. And then we have truth transcends illusion, which means understanding, realizing, finally getting getting it but there's more to this message and i need to understand what that is let's go into our six card spread to get more of a detailed foundation and then we got to go into what is this truth transcends illusion nothing is coming out in the past so this is your whole mindset this week is future focused but it's like god's trying to say you'll figure it out it'll figure it's a future will figure itself out if you pay attention to and live in this moment so what is this beautiful thing to be seen we have the devil that's not beautiful at all that's or you're if you're dealing with a capricorn it's different but there is this energy then the devil is malefic energy that tries to keep you down and keep you pulled back and keep you restricted it's fear it's addiction it's it's something that wouldn't let you live in the moment of course it could also represent saturn and saturn is in pisces right now the high priestess is here saying you're aware of a fear or something going on with somebody else's fear, addiction. It's like the consciousness is there and it, you're aware that it's there or somebody is aware that somebody else has spotted them. And when I mean them, I mean the parts of them that are toxic or degraded or scared or being held back. It's like there is a knowledge that's what we're getting into now. Truth transcends illusion because we're getting we're there's there's some knowledge that is coming into consciousness into awareness about fear about um control trying to control people oh, gosh. Pisces 
And then we have Scorpio energy. Oh, boy. And so we have the death card. It's almost like you're starting to realize you need to end something because it is too harsh. It's, it's not going to work. It's almost like that's coming into consciousness, which implies that you tried to keep it out of your consciousness for a very long while. Or you tried to repress it. And I'll tell you what's happening. It's this being full moon. I'm recording this on the full moon that happens on the 23rd. It's not coming out till the day after, but there's a level of consciousness of that with that Scorpio energy that you can't ignore it. You see it very clearly for what it is, and it's very restricted. And it's very um it's very fearful. Um Scorpionic energy means something has to be purged so that life can come out of it again. It's coming into consciousness. We have the strength card here, which means you're strong enough to face your beast now. You're strong enough to face what is difficult to face. This is a great time for confronting addictions. It's a good time for confronting uh, vices. It's a good time for confronting something that has really been bothering you. And so it's like, yeah, embrace what's going on in front of you. Then we have the six of pentacles, which means you're being offered a great deal of there's 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 a lot of value that comes in after you confront this situation or realizing that you have to open yourself up to options, Pisces. This sense of um, it's almost like you were scared to admit to yourself that you have options because you want or that you want options because you wanted to keep it out of your mind. You felt guilty about it, bad. You were stuck in that guilt, maybe shame. But ultimately, there is that sense of coming out on the other side when you realize I do have options and you do. Pisces, you 1111, you are getting options. There are offers that are coming to you. I, whatever this was, it was a bad time. It was a harsh time. It was a time where you felt like I there was a there was an ending. There was a, a finish. Um but it did make you stronger. It's like you had to go through the fire to face the fire. And coming out, we have this just influx of opportunities that are going to start coming to you. So let's get that sixth card and see. Oh. <laughs> I just love, I love our journey together. So thank you for coming along with me. Um. So the sixth card that came out, the sixth card that came out, and then we have the seventh because it fell out, is the sun card. So basically, short story long, God wants you to know that this, this shit fuck of a time that you've been going through, this transitional period that has been difficult, it's coming to an end, Pisces. You're, it's about to be broken. You're about to have options. You're about to accept an option. There is success coming out of this craziness, but it was supposed to change you because I don't think you would be willing to accept the opportunities had you not gone through the crap that made you appreciate the opportunities. You may not have appreciated the opportunities. That's what be here now is. That's your end result, Pisces. You're going to learn to look at things for what they are, not what you expected them to be. And by the end of this week, you're going to, the hardships are over. You're going to be able to see the opportunities in front of you because things got so bad that, that this stuff looks good now and it should. Gratitude has turned back on in your mind and that's why you're capable of seeing these opportunities and appreciating them. Acceptance of the opportunities will come in and you really are I don't know. This is just beautiful. A beautiful place to land and end. And why are you there? Because you did not give up. Because you fought for it. Because you struggled. And this is a... And you wouldn't have been ready for this if you didn't learn discipline throughout here. There was a tough lesson that you had to learn. And you had to, you had to go through that sort of resurrective energy of just crashing and burning and having to pick yourself back up again. And that's why you're able to have the job that you're about to be offered, have the relationship that you're about to be offered. It's like you had to go through the fire to temper you, 
to become what you needed to become to actually be able to handle what this is. So you're ready for your blessing now. Let's grab a moon card because we do have to celebrate the moon after all, right? Pisces. And this is Capricorn again. Guess what? This is about restriction and tough times. Guess what? This is what brings you out of those tough times. You, you sludge through the toxicity, you break down, and then you rise from it. And you're stronger because now you can face your beast. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. My friends, your tough cycle is about to end. And with Capricorn, it may have been about work. It may have been about money. It could have been about laws or regulations or um, um, uh, authority figures that were just getting on you and fucking with you. That's over. That's, that's ending. That is what is clearing for you in this energy. Well, we got the, that Capricorn energy. Yeah, you've been feeling, you've been feeling really restrained. Imagine, guys, now you can see this. Imagine is your language. Now it's like your imagination, your aspirations are turned back on again. This sense of it's beyond your imagination. It's greater than what you imagined or just a sense of you're back to normal. You're back to feeling who you are, but it's a stronger version of who you are. Oh, and then we have go the distance. So take your imagination, take your aspiration and then go the distance. Something finally, maybe you were manifesting around the new moon, something. It's like, it's like it finally came through. You're finally able to do it. Or once again, remember the leap of faith card. You're about to be offered something that is great. Do it. Go for it. Had you not been coming through these, this fire, I don't think you would have seen it. You must take it. Go the distance. Go all the way. You reached for it. Well, now through all this crap, you're on the other side. Grab it, take it, go the distance, go all the way. You'll, you'll get through, we'll get you through. It will, it will work. Just go for it and keep going and do not hold back. Truth transcends illusion. We got to get just, just a second. Truth transcends illusion about what? Maybe about you and who you are. Queen of swords about the right decision to make and about the way forward. Right? And also about, about you about who you are and the decisions that you were making and the decisions that you needed to learn to make in order to make good decisions. Also, people are starting to see and discern your capabilities and people are going to start to see that and look what they, and they're going to love it. They're going to want to buy into it. People see, people get it. Like if whatever you were going through, maybe you had, maybe you lost confidence in yourself. You know, that if you were, if everything was really rough, there's just this sense of, of thinking that people think things of you because you are feeling self-conscious, not because they really do feel those things for you. And so truth, your truth, your capability, your goodness is shining through and people actually want to come work with you or work for or you like they're they're appreciating you. They're starting to show appreciation for you. They're they're becoming aware of how good you are at what you do or who you are. We have to get let me get a let me get an angel card for you guys. Pisces. Pisces. We have healthy communication in relationships. This is what the fire is teaching you. I can tell you this right now. It's what getting burned made you appreciate. Healthy communication in relationships. Heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear, assertive communication help you understand and be understood so God is telling you, let this card come out. This is what you need. You need to get ready to communicate very clearly what you're capable of. So whatever this is, whatever the situation is, God wants you to practice and get that script ready because there are people, there are buyers. There are people who will buy into. There are people that will appreciate you, but clearly communicate with them. This is very important. And then we have forgiveness heals. 
Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. Get rid of the guilt, get rid of the shame, focus on your strategy, focus on your gifts, and focus on your optimism, aim high, reach for the stars, like dare to dream again. That's what take the leap of faith means. God wants you to dare to dream again and be in this optimistic mindset of I deserve it and I'm worth it. Because my friends, you are an opportunity is at hand. So is the extended reading. And I hope that you guys will join me for that. The links are down below in the, in the comment section. I pin it to the top of the comment section. I also put it in the description box below this video if you can access that. Um, if not, you can go to my website. They're always on there. You can go to Vimeo. They're always on there. Or you can join the BWOB membership here and you don't even have to log off of YouTube. You can just have unlimited access to all the extended readings right here on YouTube. You choose. Either way, I'm going to be happy to see you there. Bye, guys.